What is the average time it takes for sperm to reach the fallopian tube after IUI? Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing the average time it takes for sperm to reach the fallopian tube after intrauterine insemination, commonly known as IUI. If you're considering or have undergone this fertility treatment, it's natural to have questions about the process and the timeline involved. So, let's dive in and explore the topic in detail. Understanding Intrauterine Insemination IUI. Before we delve into the timing aspect, let's briefly recap what intrauterine insemination IUI, entails. IUI is a fertility treatment technique that involves placing washed and prepared sperm directly into a woman's uterus. This procedure aims to increase the chances of fertilization by bringing the sperm closer to the fallopian tubes where fertilization typically occurs. Factors Influencing Sperm Travel Time The time it takes for sperm to reach the fallopian tubes after IUI can vary depending on various factors. Let's explore some of the key factors that can influence this travel time. 2.1 Sperm Quality and Motility Sperm quality and motility play a crucial role in determining how quickly they can travel through the cervix, uterus, and ultimately reach the fallopian tubes. Higher quality sperm with good motility tend to have a better chance of reaching the fallopian tubes faster. 2.2 Proximity to ovulation The timing of IUI in relation to ovulation is another significant factor. If the IUI procedure is performed around the time of ovulation or shortly before, the sperm will have a higher chance of encountering the released egg in the fallopian tube. 2.3 Uterine Contractions Uterine contractions can also influence the speed at which sperm travel through the reproductive tract. These contractions can help propel the sperm towards the fallopian tubes, potentially reducing the travel time. Average time for sperm to reach the fallopian tube after IUI It's important to note that the journey of sperm after IUI can vary from person to person, and there is no fixed or exact time frame that applies universally. However, on average, it takes approximately 10 to 60 minutes for sperm to reach the fallopian tubes after intrauterine insemination. To summarize, the average time it takes for sperm to reach the fallopian tube after IUI is around 10 to 60 minutes. However, it's essential to keep in mind that individual factors can influence this timeline, and it may vary from person to person. If you're undergoing or considering IUI, it's best to consult with your healthcare provider for personalized information and guidance regarding the procedure. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope this information has been helpful to you. If you have any further questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more fertility-related content. Wishing you the best of luck on your journey towards parenthood. Take care.